welcome back we'll move to the next step we have to power off all the storage controller VMs right click and go to power click on power off click yes to power it off you need to perform this step for all the S now we can see all the SCVM in this cluster is powered off. We'll move into the next step, putting the host in ESX maintenance mode, one by one. You need to do this step for all the hosts in the cluster. Now we can see all the hosts are in maintenance mode. Let's move into the next step we have to power down the host one by one right click on the host click on shut down give a reason and click OK please perform this step for all the nodes in the cluster now we can see all the host is in power down state we'll move into the next step we have to bring these host back in we have to power it on for that we have to go to the UCSM you can see the state of these uh, nodes they are in power off state to bring them up you need to click on boot server we can look at the FSM it is booting up you can launch the KVM to see the progress of the boot. Now we can see the host has boot up. It takes between 5 to 7 minutes for the ESXi to boot up. The same process has to be done for all the nodes in the cluster before we move into the next step. Now we'll move into the next step. We have to move the host out of the maintenance mode. We we'll go back to the VMware vSphere client, right click on the host, click on exit maintenance mode. Repeat the same step for all the four nodes or all the nodes in the cluster. Now all my hosts are out of the maintenance mode. I will go ahead and power on the SCVMs. perform this for rest of the SCVMs. Now you can see all my uh, SCVMs are power on. I'll go to the next step. I'll go ahead and start the cluster. Login back to the storage controller VM. Run the command stcli cluster start. this will take some time uh, close to four minutes now you can see the cluster is restarted successfully let's go ahead and verify the health of the cluster cluster health looks good state is online perfect now we will move on to the next step power on the the production VMs one by one and we need to ensure that the data store is mounted properly right click on the virtual machine click on power on please do this step for all the the VMs or the production VM to verify the data store click on the data so we can see the data store is mounted successfully thank you for watching